get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself so true. with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. Okay, please tell me there's a video of this entire thing. I'm going to die. Oh my God, there's a video of the entire thing. Oh my fucking... Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh fuck. Oh yes. Oh fuck. Oh Lord. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Oh, oh dude. Oh, come on. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so fucking good. Oh fuck. Yes, dude. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Okay. From the start, we decided that we always wanted to be really open and honest to who we are. When we would film tough episodes that were really about our life, whether it was breakups or transitions or things that other people might be having a hard time dealing with at home, if that changed the way that reality TV is, you know, viewed or seen as being really helpful and informational, I think that makes me proud. I'm just grateful that we've been able to do it for so long. And I think something that we've always stayed true to is that we want to film really what we're going through. And even if Bro, this is the best way to describe being a fucking content demon with content skull, by the way. Oh, it's just like we were doing, you know, we were doing brutal honesty. That's why we filmed everything, you know? Just brutal honesty. If it's not stuff. crazy salacious and it might not be oh something for ratings like some other shows do. We've always stayed true to who we are. What's important mm -hmm. to remember is we've been able to shine a really bright light on issues like the homeless situation in Los Angeles, prison reform, just different things that we actually care about. I think we've learned a good balance of boundaries over the years. Mm -hmm. Starting Don't get with me Courtney. started on boundaries. <laughs> That's a Courtney being the question. queen of boundaries. We always show, even if it's something that we don't fully want to get into we always show a glimpse of something that the viewer really hasn't seen i'm really excited about this show on hulu because we really have no restrictions before on e it was totally us and totally amazing but the episodes were so short and the producers definitely knew what the e audience wanted and this feels a little bit more documentary style coming from a different angle of where we're at in our lives now because it's different sides that maybe the e audience wasn't into our business ventures or my law school journey and stuff like that i think i definitely started the boundaries conversation but i think it's like boundaries within even like how to balance like filming and then having a moment to ourselves or like taking our kids to school or knowing that like we need to work out in the morning before we kind of start our day, like all the things to survive. She's a trailblazer. Um, I am. But I think, I think boundaries with film. Dude, when I see stuff like this, I'm like, you know, those fucking psycho conservatives that think like, you know, that satanic panic shit is happening in in hollywood like they're not that far off like you know what i mean maybe it's a little bit extra seasoning but like this shit is pretty fucking crazy like none of these words are in the bible okay you bring some fucking dude who lives in like a rural part of of like a village in afghanistan and you try to ex explain to them what is happening here they're gonna be like, no, no, bring me back. Send me back, bro. I don't want this shit, okay? See you in a few days. Monka TOS, I saw it. I see it. Filming is like, yesterday I got a text like, can we film Valentine's Day? And I was like, that's gonna be a no. <laughs> I'm sure you would love to, but that's gonna be it. you are so you've always been really open i think what's cool about court is that she started off her original show not really wanting to be famous or caring what she showed was just so like limitless because she didn't give a fuck what anybody thought about her or how they perceived her and so she just showed everything this time it's on her terms but i'm really surprised to see how open she is What's also different is we film individually a lot, and so I'll watch an episode and...
Bro, if you were constantly around this, you'd fucking lose your mind too, especially if you already have like a history with bipolar disorder. I'm just saying, like, like he's that kind of was definitely doing a lot of fucked up shit straight up. Uh, but like, if this was what you lived with and like you were kind of locked, like you were baby locked into it too, like this is your fucking family, whether you want to admit it or not. Holy fuck, dude. I, I would just lose my mind. It's like you're, you're trapped in a fucking mental prison. Stop covering this. I gave you your Armenian card. I will take it back during Women's History Month, too. This is both homophobic, misogynistic, and just racist. Be like, oh, my God. That's what you guys were doing, or that's what happened, and that's where you're at. It's just, it's, I love it. Like, it's you've been actually so open this season, more so than I ever thought. Don't tell her that she might feel bad. No, um, I have. Yeah, no, no. You're and, doing, um, you're but doing it's, great. But it's like, it's so doing cute. Amazing, it's sweetie. so cute. This makes me so happy. She's no, never had a reaction like that for me, and no. it's happened like a few this times. <laughs> Him kind of paved the way in showing us how to navigate social media and how to take the different social media platforms and use them in such a great way, but in a great cadence. When we first started out doing Keeping Up with the Kardashians, for example, there was barely Twitter. As each platform has evolved and become how this generation does business. She and Chloe and Courtney have shown the rest of us how to work the different platforms. And but I think we're really generally helpful. so excited. We see the hard work that goes into each person. Why are they standing like that? business and so when we get a delivery I got a push delivery last night and I was so <laughs> excited and I was posting about it and then you know Chloe will send some good American jeans and my daughter will steal them and I show the process because I'm genuinely love the product bro the entire life is like ha a hashtag ad like they have literally completely and and entirely they live in a hashtag ad dude that's crazy to me and they're like trying to explain it by by saying it's authentic. Like it's authentic that I'm doing hashtag ads every fucking day. Okay, I want to hear the it work comes stuff. Easy to people. It doesn't, especially if you want something long term. I have the best advice for women in. What did you say? This has the same. This is literally the same energy as Twitch chat. Twitch chat needs saying we're Omega Lol. No, like the fucking hilarity here is they do a they do a solid fucking job. I'm talking about how disingenuous this is. They work all the fucking time. Of course they do. But it's crazy to say like, oh yeah, my my Instagram uh is is like that's that's a part of my fucking uh you know, living authentic experience. It's like, no, dude, you literally fucking you're just you just straight up you're just straight up fucking commoditizing every aspect of your life. Business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. If you're the smartest person in that room, you've got to go to another room. Like you don't, I want <laughs> yeah. to be around really successful people because that's going to drive me to be successful. A lot of people get intimidated to be in a room full of smart thinkers, wealthy people, whatever it is. I want to be in that learn. room. Because it also, in, like, scares you. Dude, that's what, that's what I'm saying, dude. Everyone's always intimidated to be in a room full of smart people and, like, thinkers and whatnot. And that's precisely why. That's actually what's going on, is that, like, they fucking don't want to be in a room full of uh, the Channel 5 video. Watch it already? No, I'm going to watch it after this. We're going to get into the Channel 5 video immediately after this. You To want to be... Like to be like the motivates you and inspires person. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I gotta hustle. So <laughs> but I, can I think be back also in yeah. because you see everything on social media and you think, oh, it's just a lifestyle, or oh, it's like really quick and easy, and you can just post something, and it's not easy. When you do product shots, when you do post things that are work related posts, it's still a job and it's still really hard. And bro, this is so fucking hard to like. I I'm a Twitch streamer, okay. And I'm in front of the camera fucking eight to ten hours a day. You guys already know this. But, like, if I fucking turn around and, like, complain about how hard my, how grueling and how hard my job is, like, of course motherfuckers are going to be like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, that's crazy, dude. Just don't say that. I, it's not as easy, for the record. Like, what they do, even what they do is not as easy. It's not. Straight up.
But also, the reason why they're in that position and have been able to snowball into like, you know, in a biblical level of fucking fame and money is because of Chris Jenner. Okay? What? The Elden Ring shift is brutal? What do you mean? Success is never easy. So you just, if you put in the work, you will see results. It's that simple. Bro, they're on baby mode compared to you and crying. They're on TV for 22 edited minutes a week or whatever half the year. You're literally on eight hours a day. Yeah, and even then I wouldn't fucking say, oh man, like my job is so difficult. I mean, in comparison to their job, yes, it is. But ultimately, it doesn't fucking matter. You know what I mean? It's still infinitely fucking easier to infinitely easier to do what I'm doing, in my opinion, uh, than than to do like backbreaking work, dude. Not even backbreaking. Fuck that. Fuck backbreaking work. It's literally easier to do 100 percent what I do than to I don't know be a fucking teacher, uh, work at Starbucks. Uh, constantly fucking serve shitheads because at least the one thing I can do within my sector is unapologetically brutally fucking eviscerate a shitty client okay if you're in the chat and you're shitty I can like humiliate you I can publicly make you fucking cry behind a screen if I want to can you imagine if fucking waiters and waitresses had that power holy shit dude Oh my God, it would be a, it would be a game changer. Imagine you're waiting tables, okay? Some fucking small business tyrant works, uh, it comes in. They're going to use this as an opportunity to fucking lord over you. You know, this is their, you're in their kingdom now, you know? Maybe they had a shit day. You probably are having a shit day, but it doesn't even fucking matter. They start treating you like absolute dog water, okay? They treat you as lesser than human. Because they're actually subhuman, okay? If you treat people in the service industry as... Uh, if you treat people in the service industry like shit, you are literally a subhuman filthy fuck, okay? You can't laser them. You just can't do that. That sucks. I'm willing to, I'm bet, I'm betting that like the waiting industry would be so much better if it wasn't over relying on fucking tips and that you had the opportunity to just fucking, you know, destroy customers, kick them out.